This video is for the fifth grade website project assignment one. First, you're going to go to Weebly.com, then you're going to click sign up in the top right corner. From here, what you're going to do is click on G plus sign up. And then you're going to click on your username and click on allow. And then from here, what you're going to do is click on Other and click on the Modern and Elegant Style. And then from here, click on Start Editing at the top. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to click where it says use a subdomain of Weebly.com and you're just going to type in a URL for your website. So what you might do is type in your first names and then the name of the location that you're doing your website on. So here's kind of an example. And then click on continue. And from here what you're going to do is you're going to um, click on pages. And we're going to delete some of these extra pages here. So we're going to click on Home, then click on Delete down at the bottom. Click on Delete right here. And next, you're going to click on About, click on Delete, click Delete, click on Blog, click Delete, click Delete, and click on Contact, click Delete click delete and then you're going to click the last page left which is shop you're going to click on that and then you're going to erase where it says shop and you're going to type in the name of your location and then you're going to click where it says no header choose header and then you're going to click on build at the top Next, what you're going to do is you're going to click where it says Love Seat and click where it says Off. And then you're going to click where it says Click Here to Edit and you're going to type in the name of your location. And then what you're going to do is um, you're going to click down underneath that picture and you'll rest your pointer. You're going to see a little picture down here that's really hard to see. You're going to click on the little X down there. and um, and then delete the little faded picture that's there underneath the main picture. And then from here what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag a text box to go into the white space down underneath your picture. And you're going to click where it says click here to edit. And then you're going to click on the bulleted list button which looks like the three dots with the three lines after them. Next you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to click on the three by three grid up in the top right corner, click on drive, and you're going to open up your avoiding plagiarism document from last class. So um, if you click under search drive and then just start typing in avoiding plagiarism and you're going to click on the one that has your name on it. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click in the first space where it says copied and pasted sentence. So right underneath where it says copied pasted sentence. And you're going to hit tab on your keyboard. And then it's going to highlight the information that you have there. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit control C on your keyboard. Um, and then from here what you're going to do is you're going to just paste it into your um, website. So um, again it should already be copied and you will just click back over to Weebly and then hit control V on your keyboard to paste it. And so then what will end up happening is there's your pasted sentence. Um, so then what you're going to do is just hit enter to go on to the next line. And then from here what you'll do is go back to avoiding plagiarism. You're going to hit tab two times hit control C to copy the next sentence, click back over to Weebly, and you're gonna hit control V to paste the next sentence. And then you're just gonna keep doing that. Um, so that way you've got 
all of your information. So um, we'll go ahead, click back over to avoiding plagiarism. You're gonna hit tab two times so that it highlights the next sentence. Hit control C to copy it. Click back over to Weebly, hit enter to go on to the next line and then hit control V to paste. Um, finally, we'll go back over to avoiding plagiarism, hit tab two times. The fourth sentence should be highlighted, control C to copy. Go back over to Weebly, hit enter to go on to the next line, and then control V to paste. Um, finally, go back to avoiding plagiarism, hit tab two times. Um, the last sentence should be highlighted, hit control C to copy it, click back over to Weebly, and then hit enter on your keyboard and hit control V in order to paste. So there's your five sentences. What you're gonna do next is hit enter two times and type in works cited. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up a new tab and you're going to search for the website that you used um, for your research. So for example, I had searched about the Freedom Trail and I had used the first link. So um, what I'm gonna do here is click on the link to the website that I used. I'm gonna click up at the top to highlight the URL, hit Control C on my keyboard, open up a new tab, and in the new tab, I'm gonna to go to easybib.com. And then from here, what we're going to do is paste the URL under where it says website, and then click on cite it. And then you're going to click on Cite This. And then you're gonna scroll down just a little bit and click on Continue to the final step. And from here what you're going to do is scroll down and check off Yes next to Display URL and then click on Create Citation. And then from here, what you're going to do is once it creates the citation, you're going to copy where it says, hooray, here's your new citation. So we're just gonna click and drag to highlight all that stuff. And then hit Control C on your keyboard. You're gonna click back over to Weebly. And then make sure you're on the next line under where you uh, typed works cited and hit Control V on your keyboard to paste the citation. Um, then you're gonna hit enter a couple times. And then you're just gonna type in written by, and your first name and last initial. Um, the last thing you're gonna do is add another picture. So if you click on the picture that's there and click on edit background, you'll click on replace. And then from here, what you'll do is click on search, type what you wanna search for, click free photos. Click the picture you want and click save. And that's it.